Hi guys, hey. um, it's Megan and Sierra and uh, um, today we're going to be showing you guys how to do a DIY Coca-Cola costume but you could definitely do this with any type of can, can that you want. So um, first of all before we get started you guys, if you follow us on Instagram, have probably seen or that you've been subscribed to us. Yeah, we passed a million. Just got our one million subscriber plaque. So look at that. The Chia 62 congratulations for surpassing one million subscribers. So pretty. There's the gold play button. And it is so much bigger. You should always get the one hundred thousand just to like compare in size. Oh, yeah. So that's in Sierra's room. Um, me and Sierra are keeping this here. I actually might put it on my wall. But we're not sure yet, otherwise it might go like in front or like in our bar area, you know, oh our gymnastics bar. So, the 100,000 one was in Sierra's room. Look at that. Size difference. So, so Sierra's cute. had it for a very long time because we passed 100,000 a long time ago. It's still cute though. Go close my door. <laughs> okay. And then Maggie got the 100,000 subscriber plaque for TC2 Extras. So, since I've been waiting the longest, um... I get to decide where this goes. It might go on my wall, but since obviously this is like a little bit more like than just like Maggie has a plaque, but it's like definitely not this. And like since this is at our house, Maggie's only thing was that she wanted the box to do with what she wanted, and it's a really nice block like box. Like look at this, so so nice. So once we figure out what the plaque like where the plaque is going, Maggie gets the box. <laughs> that was right. our little trade off. So back to the costume that we're doing. We're gonna show you. Everything that we've gathered for the costume, if you guys want to do this yourself. So, we have some red t-shirts, since obviously the costume Also, if you want to know red. how to do something gymnastics or cheer related, go watch our main channel video. True. Um, so yeah. Also, the reason we're making costumes isn't to go trick-or-treating, it's because we're going to our stepsister's birthday slash Halloween party, so that's why. Um, we have some black headbands from Walmart. The t-shirts from, from, from Walmart, too, I don't know if I said that. Um, transfer paper, we've already printed out all of the logo stuff, we did it in two parts, so that it's going to be like that on the shirt, hopefully. They changed the can logo, so on the Coca-Cola can it now goes horizontal, don't put it on the side unless you want to, I guess, yeah. you can do and what you so want. So we're also going to cut out the white part, we just need the red to be able to see like what was printed, because we just want the white on the red shirt. So that's all that stuff, we have some scissors, and then we have some chalk for this and we have some hot glue. Those in the black part. I also did I say the aluminum foil? No. If not then we have that too. <coughs> and then we have this because we're gonna cut out a soda tab and then cover that in aluminum foil and put that on our head with the headband. And yeah. Besides that we'll probably just wear like leggings with it. I don't know, it might show you what it all looks like when it's put together. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. I think first, what should we do? Probably cut. Oh. Yikes. We'll be back when we get that done because this is going to take a while. We want it to look really good, so we're going to take our time cutting it. So I just finished cutting out the coca part, and I still have to do the cola part. But, yeah. Also, the inside is really hard to cut out. Like, it'd be a better use of your time if you just, like, went to Walmart and, like, bought an X-Acto knife. Sierra has cut out her C. And that is all, but she's working right now on the other part. She's a little bit behind me though, so. Anyways, I am going to start on the cola. Can't wait, look at all like this extra paper. So I just finished cutting all of mine out. I actually feel like the second one like went way faster, but looks pretty good. I think I cut it pretty well. And Sierra is being so terrible at cutting hers that I'm literally going to cut the seat for her. Look at how good this one's going. Huh? Working on the Ola, and then she already laid her shirt out with like the Coca part good. on it. That was good, guys. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. So we're gonna finish cutting Sierra's, and then we'll move on to ironing It'll them. It'll get faster after this. I mean, you guys haven't really been here, so it's yeah. been taking a while. Okay, so Sierra's like almost done cutting. So like we're almost, I got almost. to do uh, the inside of this and then the inside of it. The A. But I decided that I wanted to show you guys like me tracing like the soda tab real quick, just so like I could like kind of get like a shape that we want. <clears throat> so we have chalk, and uh, it doesn't matter if you like wanted to use a marker or anything. I just like we have chalk. So I'm trying to decide. I think I want it like maybe something like that size. The sides are straighter. And then it's rounded, and then straight, and then rounded. Okay. 
So Sierra finally finished cutting her thing. Yep. Um, I finished cutting this out. I think I made the holes like a little too big. Like it just doesn't look right. But I'm gonna see if when I cover it with aluminum foil, if I can like make it look better, which I think I should be able to. So I'm gonna stick with this, and it'll work fine. How does this work? And okay. next, okay. we're going to uh, arrange them. On is that how you like your centered. shirt? That's not centered. Well, we're gonna center this and then it's time to iron them on. Alright, so we just peeled back all of the uh, like backing on the paper and then arranged it this was a very how I want it. Process. I'm not kidding, it took 10 minutes to get it how I want it to because, because these this, are really flimsy. And like if you move one part of it, like the entire thing like gets wrinkled. And we had to make sure it was center. And it looks good. it's good enough. It looks good. It'll be fine. So, so now we gotta read the next part of the instructions. I think we need to get, maybe like use the transfer, like the transfer. Anyways, we'll be back when we're actually ironing it. The translucent sheet. So we are going to officially iron it on. Just make sure you don't go off and like get one of those. Megan and I don't have like a good history of ironing things successfully. We've done it though. So we're really, really hoping that it works. And time lapse mode. So we just finished ironing on Sierra's and it's staying on, so that's good. And we didn't mess up. Looks good. Pretty center, so that's also good. Hold it up to you so you can kind of see. So there it is. Or if you didn't want to do this, you could just get like a regular Coca Cola shirt that like we just made our own. So you know, just do what you want. You know. And now we just have to do that sweet tab that's on the ground. After we do mine. <laughs> ah. All right, guys. So I finally finished doing mine. I think it went a little faster than Sears, but this stuff is just hard to like arrange. So let's lift it up. Hopefully, nothing falls off. So this is mine. Same thing as Sears, basically. And it yeah. Good. So now we have two of them. All right. So they actually match like really well. Like. I don't even look at yours, but like they're basically like in the same spot. Well, I'd hope so. I think mine's a little higher than yours. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it, yeah, it is. Oh, uh, circle it around, guys. So if they're like side by side. Yeah, so this one's side this by side. This one's mine. Like See, yeah, like yours is like higher. Megan's has more room right there. And we're gonna call it good for today. We're recording this on Wednesday. We have to go to our dad's house tonight, so we'll probably pick we'll this up this tomorrow. We'll tab tomorrow. That's not going to take nearly as long, but you guys yeah. won't know because you're watching a video, so. But yeah, just thought I'd let you know because we'll be wearing different clothes. Hey guys, it's day two. Also, look at this shirt. It's a famous birthday shirt that I got at VidCon like in 2015. I've never worn it. You I get a free shirt it. if you're, never mind, that's not what it was. It was the, I was going to say you get a shirt if you're on their website, but that's not. We're on their website if you guys didn't know. It's not a, like that big of a deal, but like. I found the shirt, it's cute. So, anyways, day two, we need to work on the soda, the soda tab headbands. So this is mine cut out from yesterday. I showed you guys, I think the holes are too big. We're gonna see if we can fix that. Sierra has to trace mine, or you might be better off like doing yeah. your own. Maybe you can trace the outside. Cause we were thinking like putting it on, like it doesn't really like look like a soda tab right here. I just feel like the holes are too big. Mm -hmm. So, and I might make mine a little more circular. Oh. Alright, we just finished. Sierra cut hers out and then I looked at mine and I was like, yeah, I'm just going to trace yours and do another one. So we have both of these done and now we get to cover them with aluminum foil. So we're doing aluminum foil. If you want to do this, you could either paint it like with silver paint or you could use gray paint. I have paint right now. Um, whichever one you want to do. But we don't have any silver paint. But I want it to be reflective still. So. Yeah. So we're going to cover these, and I guess, how are we planning on covering them? I don't know. Maybe, like, tear this into strips and, like, wrap it around. I was kind of thinking that. You could, like, just, like, loop it and, like... Yeah, keep it going. All right, try it out. Let's see if we can... We're going to kind of just cut, like, a shorter one on using the yeah. actual thing. You can just do whatever you want here.
Alright, so me and Sierra have both finished covering our soda tabs. Mine's completely done. Megan just finished covering so, hers. Also, like, I have a couple of spots in the back, but, like, but since I'm gonna make this, like, the good side, like, it will be fine. So, what we did with mine that we're gonna do with Megan's is we pressed mine down. Because, like, this is, like, see a little lumpier than yeah. mine is. So, so, just take, like, a hard, like, straight edge. We're just using this info box. And we're just going to press it down, put some pressure on it, make sure you don't break the box, because I almost did that. And it'll just press, like, the wrinkles down. It's not going to, like, de-wrinkle it, but it'll at least make it so that it's, like, flat. And, like, the foil will stay better, be a little more secure. Okay, so we're discussing how we want to put the, how we want to glue the tab onto our headbands. And if you want some options, we thought of, like, maybe doing it like this, where it's, like, you glue it right here and then like it hang off the side that way you could like be like oh like you could crack the soda tab but then we also thought of like maybe putting it on like just like on this like the looks maybe like a little cuter i don't know i kind of like this one better just because i think it like looks better but if you want to be like the funny person i think this would be a good option too what other ones that's kind of it it just kind of like depends on like where do you want to glue it so like it lays how you want like if you want people to like see it maybe like glue it in the back so you can like angle it forward see it that might be a good idea for us to do because like if it's like on top you yeah. can't really see it that's what we should do yeah. like in the middle but yeah, like in the back that's what we'll do so then be like this for the front you'd be like tilt your head like smile so i'm gonna do it on my good side though because then like <laughs> i have to face that way <laughs> okay so this is what we're doing we showed you some other options do whatever you guys want Okay, so also, like, this part I might glue down too just because, like, it was kind of, like, lifting up. But I have it marked from, like, when I had it on my head, like, where I wanted to glue it together. So this is where I'll be gluing it. I'm going to glue this, like, foil down real quick, though, because that's bothering me. That was, like, barely close enough. <laughs> okay, and then grab your hot glue gun and put some glue in between. And, and just make sure you hold on to it hold long, long enough, it dries. which doesn't take too long. If you don't have a hot glue gun, you're missing out. They are great. They're not super expensive. You can do so many things with them. What would you do in place of hot glue? Um, you could use super glue, like being done. But obviously, mine's not gonna put on now because she's not going to. done. <laughs> but um, you could use hot glue, or well, hot glue would be like easiest. Sorry about our dog. And then super glue would be a good option. So these are then we're like letting them sit and dry. This, I'd probably recommend laying them like this. Because yeah. that way all the weights going down get glued together. We're gonna go have some lunch with our grandma and grandpa, and then when we come back, they'll probably be sturdy enough where we can try on the headband tabs with the shirts and the whole look will be done. Mm -hmm. And we'll get to show you guys. Alright guys, so we just got back and these have had plenty of time to dry. So since I have the hiccups, I'm so sorry. So uh, since everything is done, we're just gonna try them on real quick and then show you guys the finished product. Okay, okay, so we just put them on and we decided to come outside to show you guys our finished looks. And here's, here's the, the headbands. Head. They look pretty good in my opinion. And also what we ended up doing for mine is just, like there was pieces of tin foil sticking up. So we took some double sided tape and like put that on and it's sticking down pretty well now. And I'm then, gonna get a full body shot of Megan. So, hold on, I'm zoomed in. Like we said, guys, we're still working this camera. So, this is the shirt. I'm just wearing leggings with it. And then, this shirt turned out so well, guys. Like, I should do more ironing stuff. And then here's the headband. I and think it's cute. We really like it. It's a good look. Smile for a thumbnail. <laughs> All right, so that's it for this video. We I'll will just see it too, uh, just in case. It's like the same thing, but. Isn't it cute? And there's our stunt stand in the background. So yeah, you guys should definitely try this out. Or if you want more ideas, go click the link in the description and watch our other one. We will see you whenever we post on this channel or on the channels too. Bye.